complex and the doctors said if it didn't get better she'd have to go on Prilosect or some kind of uh, medication and Dr. McHale has been doing adjustments and it's been helping her and she has not had to go on medication. Now what I want to do is uh, she was mentioning, uh, Nicole here was mentioning that um, recent like she was doing fine okay after we made adjustments to her and I'm going to show you the adjustment we do but um, uh, what's really important when a mom is nursing a baby, so if you're out there, this is really important. If mom is intolerant to something, like corn, like wheat, like something like that, that could go right through to the baby, okay? And so this baby could be intolerant to some of those things, okay? And as a result of that, it could then cause things like colic, could cause reflux, because once again, a reflux is not, and in a baby, understand that there's a lot, they're developing still, so what's happening is as the colon is always moving in one direction, if there's a blockage or if there's something that's tripped up in the nervous system, then what happens is the colon stops at that point. So that stopping point causes everything to back up and the body kind of freaks out and shoots it back up through the, through the mouth. So the adjustment helps get the nerve regulated so the colon or the motility of the colon keeps going in one direction. What can cause those imbalances or those stopping points are things like subluxations when the spine's out of alignment which could be caused by chemical intolerances, okay? So anything chemical, physical, or mental that becomes a stress that the nervous system processes. So let me show you what we did to uh, Go. help. Okay, so basically we're detecting a spasm here. We'll come off of the hip, we'll lift the leg, and we'll push down and push up towards the opposite shoulder, okay? Until I feel the spasm release. Now you need to get to a chiropractor who knows how to do these. This is the ileocecal valve. The other valve on the other side is the Houston valves. So basically, the, the colon could spasm anywhere along this area here, this area here. It can spasm here where the colon takes kind of a 90 degree turn, okay, in any of these points. So a lot of times you have to feel in there to make sure you're checking those. But between that, we'll work on the valves and then we'll adjust the hip as we need, okay. So the hip adjustment, yeah, I'll take it from here. Okay, real simple there. Excuse me. And then we'll always check the atlas because the atlas could be out of the line and come over here and kind of let the mom hold the shoulders down. So that way, and, and the atlas adjustment is nothing more than just a little turn. And that's all we do. And then we, we'll flip her upside down, just like a little pancake, and adjust right in the center here. So it's very comfortable, and that will take care of reflux, right? Hi, I'm Danielle and this is Novella and since she was about six days old they said that she had acid reflux and put her on medication that they wanted her to take um, two to three times a day pretty much until she was about a year old. It was not something that I really wanted to do so I sought out Dr. McTill and he adjusted her and within one adjustment her acid reflux went away, her tubbing problems went away and um, she's been a much happier baby. I'm here. Hi, this is Dr. Nicole. I'm here at a cheerleading competition in Dallas, Texas, a national cheerleading competition. And um, uh, we were just talking here a little bit about the baby and the acid reflux. So what I want to share with you is how simple this is as a chiropractor, how we work with these. First of all, we always check the base of the skull because these are in children. If this bone is out of alignment here, what will happen is all of a sudden it will overstimulate the gut. The second thing we would do is we'll actually check right over here. There's a little valve in the intestine. So what we'll do is we'll actually uh, do some pressure here, lift the leg, and do some adjusting here to, to calm down the reflex on the gut. Okay, And within a few minutes, uh, usually that will start to calm down because this can get really spasmed. So basically as I correct this valve, the next thing that will happen is uh, all of a sudden the gut, rather than uh, causing reflux to come up, will, will automatically allow things to flow through the way it's supposed to. Because in our gut system, as soon as we put something in here, it's always moving in one direction to go out the other end. So um, in little babies like this, it usually takes one or two adjustments, and all of a sudden they're, they're just fine. So you, you need to get to a chiropractor that does this type of work uh, 